Hello and welcome to this quick video on HR analytics. I'll take an example wherein you'll have a data of various training events that are taking place in a company. Often the training events are co-facilitated by more than one speakers. And therefore I need to allocate the training as to the individual speakers. Now to give you an idea, let me take you through the data set. For example, the first program is on critical thinking. It was a six hour program and I can see there are two co-facilitators who took this session. One is Gaurav, the other is John Murphy. So ideally, both of them should be given a credit of three hours each. Correct? Now to do so, I may have to add a row, get the name split into the next cell vertically and then change both these training hours to three. Now that's going to be difficult. Why? Because you never know how many facilitators are there in every row. For example, for the second program, you will have to add two extra rows, divide the four by the number of people, which is three and get all the names Chandan in this next cell, Akash in the final blank cell. So let us see how to do this. Before I begin, let me inform you that the techniques that we'll be using involve power query, counter function and pivot table. If you're using 2010 or 13 version of Excel, you may have to go to Google and type in download power query and get it installed. But if you're using a version higher than 2013, you don't need to download anything. You can simply follow this video and practice along. So let me start now. I go to data set. I purposely do not take the help of text to columns. Why? because they will split the data, but the split will be horizontal. Correct. I do not want the split horizontal. That's not what I want. I want something which is split vertically to do. So I go back one step, choose the entire table. Then since I'm using office 365 version, I go to data tab. And since I'm using office 65, I'll be getting this option called get and transform data. Now that's nothing but power query. So for those who are using 2010 and 13 and have downloaded and installed power query, you will get a separate tab of power query and the buttons are very similar to the ones which I'm going to use right now. So I choose the data. I click on this button, which says, please get the data from the table that you've chosen. It says my table has header to which I gladly agree and I click on OK. Now suddenly in few moments, I'll have power query editor window open. Now see what I do. I choose the last column which consists of the trainers. Next, I go to transform and within transform, I look for an option called split column. Now within split column, I click on by delimiter and I'll choose comma. Now that's not the trick. This will do exactly what text to column had done a few seconds back. What I'm closely interested in is using the advanced option. So I click on the advanced option and I choose rows. You know, what does this mean? It means wherever you have a comma, it'll split the data, but the split will not happen horizontally. The split will happen vertically. Let's see this in action. So I'll click on. Okay. Whoa. Notice. I have the first program, which is a 01 appearing twice because there were two co-facilitators and the same logic has been applied to the second program. There were three co-facilitators. Now what I do is I choose the column and then I go to format and make sure this is trimmed. If for some reason you don't find your last step, correct? You would want to undo, right? To do so, you may have to click on the cross button, which is as good as undo. Since it's all good, I am not undoing any step. I'll go to file and I'll say, Hey, why don't we close this power query editor window and load the data back to Excel. However, that's not over yet. Reason I need to figure out how many facilitators were there in each program. And to do so, I use the function of count if so count if does what it looks into the entire range of column a. Okay. I put a comma and then I'm looking for a 01. That's the training code for the first training that happened. 
Now, since it's a table, it is not giving a cell reference. So do not be worried about this. It is already referring to the cell marked in red and I close the parenthesis. What it gives me is how many times A01 has appeared in the list. And that is nothing but number of people in that program acting as co-facilitators. Now, so let me just write this number of uh, co-facilitators. And then I would want to talk about R's credit. Okay. To do so, I click on the number pointing towards training hours divided by how many co-facilitators were there. And once I have this number, I am ready to make a pivot table. So I choose the entire data, I go to insert and I click on pivot table and I click on OK. Once I do that, I right click on the pivot table grid, activate pivot table options and activate something called classic option. This will allow you to drag all these fields back on the pivot table grid. So I go ahead with this option and I click on OK. Now I bring in the name of the trainer in the row field and I'll put hours of credit in this area which is called value fields. That's nothing but mathematics. I'll format the numbers so that it's easy to read the numbers. Now I can even go ahead and sort this data. Right click, sort, sort largest to smallest. Whoa, so Rishabh Pugalia, that's me, has been the name on the top with the maximum credit hours to his account. Now, I can right click on training name and say add a slicer. This will allow us to see, hey, in critical thinking, who have been the top facilitator in terms of volume of hours and the same for feedback, induction or negotiation skills, right? You can, of course, choose any cell from the pivot table and press F11. Function key F11 will give you this quick chart that's super easy to look at and decipher. And the most important and beautiful part about this exercise is, in case you have any new training coming up, let's say A17 Power BI, correct? Power BI. And I'm giving the hours 12 hours, I'm giving one name, Rishabh, along with my Excel guru, who's called Mr. Excel lovingly, but his name is Mr. Bill Jelen. And when I do that, I go back to my pivot table, okay? Now what I need to do is, I simply need to right click on the query and hey, I'll refresh that. So the query has added two extra rows and when I go back to my pivot table and also refresh the pivot table, you will see the name Bill Jelen coming up somewhere in the list. Superb. So that's the power of Power Query. It helps you clean the data, automate your steps and this could be really useful in case you are one of those HR professionals who have trouble allocating hours to co-facilitators. If you don't practice this, you'll forget it, you will never learn. So why don't you download the practice file from the description given below? You're one click away from learning new technology. So why don't you subscribe now and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates.